Emirates and Qatar are in Egypt as part of attempts to agree a six-week ceasefire in Gaza. But Israel is pushing for a list of hostages still alive in Gaza before it'll send a delegation to the talks. Hamas says Israel must withdraw its forces before there can be a deal on hostages. Pressure for a truce has intensified since Thursday when at least 112 people were killed as crowds rushed towards an aid convoy in the north of the territory amid Israeli army gunfire. Overnight, another Israeli strike on Rafa in the south killed 20 people, including twin babies, according to health officials and Gaza's civil defence. Our senior international correspondent, Ola Girin, reports from Tel Aviv. You may find some of the images in her report upsetting. A truce can't come soon enough. In Rafa, another day of harrowing loss. Palestinians mourn for 20 members of the Abu Ansa family. Killed in their beds by an Israeli airstrike, according to hospital officials and Gaza's civil defence. Among the dead, five-month-old twins, as old as the war, Naim and Wissam, laid down gently with their relatives. Their mother, Rania, spent 10 years trying to have them and endured three rounds of IVF. Now all she can cradle is their baby clothes. I gave birth during the war, she says. It started on Saturday. I gave birth the next Friday. I didn't get enough of them. I swear, I didn't get enough. I have no one else, she says. They've gone with their father. We were sleeping, I swear. Israel continues to say it takes feasible precautions to lessen civilian harm. There were about 35 people in the house, says Farouk Abu Anza. Most of them children. There were no fighters. The house collapsed on them, three or four stories. In Israel too, families in anguish. Their loved ones trapped in tunnels in Gaza. They need to be released now. This weekend, they've been pleading with their government to do a deal to bring the hostages back home. Tawafer is a very uh, warm uh, person. Uh, you can see his smile. He's a family person. He has four uh, children, lovely children. How hard is this time for the families? This, this wait must seem endless. It's like a hell. You know, we are uh, in some of uh, a loop uh, since the October 7. Uh, we are living this day uh, every day again and again. We have uh, only one goal uh, all these days, to bring him back alive to his family, to his children. Uh, this is the only thing that matters. But there will be no homecoming for Offer or any of the hostages without a ceasefire. And no respite for mothers like Rania, burying their children in Gaza.